teacher Evelyn and today I wanted to talk to you about guns in class. <sighs> what do you do if your student is playing with what seems to be a very real gun and they're pointing it at themselves and they're flipping it around and they're pointing it at you and what do you do? Now if you were teaching an American student, I would be very afraid. I would even want to call the police, especially if they're acting suicidal with it. But remember, the laws in China are different. And the toy guns in China are different. You see, in America, gun access is very easy. You know, it's very possible that a regular American child would have a parent that owns a gun and they may have access. And if they have a toy gun, it's obviously going to be pink or green or some random color and not black, or it'll have an orange tip or it'll have some sort of indicator that it's not a real gun. Now, laws are quite the opposite in China. Let me read for you. Um, it says, generally, private citizens are not allowed to possess guns in China. The chief exception to the general ban on individual firearm ownership is for the purpose of hunting. Illegal possession of or sale of firearms may result in a minimum punishment of three years in prison. And penalties for arms trafficking include life in prison. I also found an article where a citizen of China was explaining his experience and he said that in his 25 years living in China, both in a small town and in the city, he never ever ever saw anyone with a gun at all. The exception was on TV, he saw police officers with guns um, and the army. So I wanted to share that piece of information that guns are not not something that are seen, real guns are not something that are seen in China. I also found an article online about a boy in 2016, he was 18 years old, and he ordered uh, like 24 toy pellet guns from Taiwan, and they this shipment was stopped at the border to China, and he was accused of buying real guns, um, and he was sentenced to what to a whole life in prison because he was accused of trying to buy firearms illegally for the purpose of selling them, and so firearms are taken very seriously in China, um, but also. Chinese students, um, let me find where I wrote it down. I found out both through Facebook groups, this um, a, one teacher shared that um, one of her sweet students, who is just a sweet little girly girl, um, she had her mom on WeChat, so she's in, in contact with the mom, and the sweet little girl was at military camp for a week or so, in the summertime and she was dressed all in camouflage and everything and this was required of her and so I wanted to read to you in China military camps are part of a nationwide training network in which 50 million Chinese children aged 9 to 18 receive a brief army style education the annual summer program is intended to inspire patriotism teamwork and sacrifice to the spoiled generations of children who have grown up without siblings or hardship. Children do not join the actual army, but perform simulated military duties. And so these children are used to possessing something that looks like a gun, but it's not really a gun. Because um, at these camps, they don't give them real guns, but they do give them um, airsoft guns that are black and, and look exactly like a military rifle because it's for them to practice with. And so I do not know whether they um, are given this to take home or if it's just at the camp, but I know that multiple children have had what looks like a real gun in class. And I can 
almost 100% guarantee you that that is not a real rifle, that is not a real gun, that would be completely illegal in China. So if you see a student playing with what looks like a real gun, please communicate with them that that's not appropriate to be playing with in class, that you want them to set it aside. Use a serious face, use a serious tone, but do not be worried, do not be anxious, do not fear for this child's life because it is an airsoft gun or even a bubble gun. Um, one teacher said that her student had what looked exactly like a real gun and then he shot it and bubbles came out. So just keep in mind that um, gun laws and toy guns are very different in China. All right. I hope this has been helpful for you. Have a good day.